Hey guys, I've had a couple of people ask me about showing how I made this parabolic dish. And I'm not a great teacher, but I can give you the rundown. This is just a squirrel baffle that they actually sell it on Chewy. Chewy.com for $16.99. It's not as good as my original one. My original one was a little bigger, it was a lot smoother, and had more, was more like a parabolic dish, but it was so fragile the thing fell over one time and it broke. And I've not been able to find another one. There's a website, I don't know it offhand, but they actually sell professional parabolic dishes and they will sell you a second or slightly defective just the dish the plastic part but it's like seventy dollars but it's like 24 inches in diameter and it has a really large center hole and i was going to buy one but it would have been really hard to to make this like this is but what i did here is i went on ebay and found these cheap tripods it's 21.97 And just got some PVC and got a piece of metal and I just bent it, drilled this out, put a little U-nut on there. This little part of this tripod is removable. So anyways, I was able to drill it, mount that on there. This is a one inch T. And as you can see, I just kind of pieced it together. And then the hole that comes in the baffle is one inch so the PVC fits in there perfectly and they just put this in there then I put this on here because there's a optimal spot as far as the acoustics go for where this should be because I think down in here is too far so I kind of put it out like that a lot of times and uh, as you've heard it works really well and I discovered that when the river's noisy if i have it in here like this that's when the water noise is overwhelming so i started actually clipping the microphone down there when the river's noisy and it cuts down on the water noise a whole lot so but that's all there is to it 21.97 for a tripod a few bucks for these pieces 16.99 for that uh the microphone is a battery operated microphone powered microphone and it seems to work really well I just bought that one <clears throat> so I have a spare my other one was kind of iffy the button on and off button was when you turn on and off it was scratchy <clears throat> excuse me and it was sometimes putting static in my recordings lately so <clears throat> but I got um, I'll put the pictures up with the links or descriptions of the pieces and whatnot and man is it cold out here today 19 degrees right now but if you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them um, if you get on YouTube and you search how to build a parabolic microphone or dish there's some pretty good videos that's where I got my idea and I just came up with this design working with what I had I'm actually recording the audio for this video on that microphone right now and I also made it so you can remove this I have another piece that I can use for a handle I have taken it out in the woods a couple times but it's a little cumbersome to carry around but it works really well out in the woods too so and I don't know if we're hearing much anything other than birds right now but yesterday I had the camera over there recording those birds headed on my neighbor's deck and then I had my other camera sitting over here on a tidy cat's litter pail and you guys heard if you heard that deer snort well a deer was snorting at me and I didn't even hear it when I was out here so I could have got some probably good video 
of the deer it was close enough to see me and feel threatened enough to snort but I did not hear it like I said my hearing not that great these days and I got a little bit of good news too I have my if you guys haven't noticed I haven't been using my night vision camera at all every time I tried to use it in the past couple months when I put the memory card in it wouldn't read the memory card and it would tell you memory card error so I thought the camera was junk because the cards I was was using were cards I was using in the trail cameras with no problem so I thought the camera was defective so yesterday I got out my other camera my Fuji that we don't use very often and tried putting a memory card in it and it said memory card error and then I tried another one it said memory card error and I'm like well what the hell so I put this on the charger and charged it overnight and I took one of the memory cards that came with my new Bushnell trail camera and I stuck it in this camera and it works again so that's really cool because this camera take some really incredible video <laughs> why is the display upside down I must have a setting wrong how bizarre is that so like I said you guys got any questions I've only had like two people ask about the dish but I figured why not why not come out here and freeze my butt off to do this and I'm shaking already Miss Gypsy, what are you doing, Miss Gypsy? She, of course, she doesn't care how cold it is. Really? You want to go in? I'll show you how clear the video is on this camera. Just throw a little clip in. And also, guys, I forgot to mention... The microphone comes with a really long cord as you can see or hopefully you can see the cord but I'm able to put the dish way over here away from the house so we don't get interference from inside and I've run my cord all the way through here and I'm able to I ran the cord through the wall and I have an equally long cord in the house it reaches over to my chair where I sit so I'm able to listen for Bigfoot Sasquatch in a very lazy manner but I used to sit out here and freeze my tail off trying to do that stuff and on days like this it's just too much it's already dropped down to 16 degrees right now and it's brutal and unfortunately I have to bring in a load of firewood or be cold one or the other <laughs> why is the display upside down I must have a setting wrong how bizarre is that so like I said you guys got any questions I've only had like two people ask about the dish but I figured why not why not come out here and freeze my butt off to do this? And I'm shaking already. Miss Gypsy. What are you doing, Miss Gypsy? She, of course, she doesn't care how cold it is. Really? You want to go in? Yeah, I was bummed out when this camera quit working because of... Uh, color quality on this thing is amazing not to mention having the night vision and we have that night vision spotlight that we would it turns out would have bought for nothing if this camera would have quit working hi little chickadee my neighbor the feeder that I filmed the other day is that one hanging right there he actually stood out there with seed in his hand the other day and was able to get a chickadee to come and eat out of his hand. So that's pretty cool. But I just thought I'd show you how nice a video this camera takes and how happy I am that it's working again. <laughs>